What's up guys? It's your girl M and I'm back with another video for today and today is a little bit of a vlog. I'm gonna do a little girls day, my day, me time vlog video for you guys today. I'm about to hit, well, I mean initially, initially it was meant to, you know, go pick up dog food for my polar bear because he's out of dog food. Gotta get new dog food for my bully. And I had to have a conversation with my vet, to his vet, not my vet, uh, to see what kind of food would be best because we were worried that the food that he switched to after his allergic reaction uh, had a little too much protein for his body. We don't want him to get like a kidney infection or anything like that. So um, I am on the hunt for some good doggy food for my little boy, my little cutie. So that's what like I was gonna be on the hunt for today. I was because I, I needed it get it today, so I couldn't just like have it shipped. I you know need to go because he ate his last serving um, this morning for breakfast. So um, it, it initially Vaughn wanted to go with me, and I was like, you know what? Let me let me have some girl time. Let me have some alone time. Let me get out of the house. You know, I know I practice social distancing. I know I take it to like a billion. Like I don't leave the house. I just stay at home for the most part unless I have to go out or if I'm getting my nails done. So I was like, you know what? Let me go out, do a little shopping. Even though I've already blown my like my like monthly like expendable budget. I've already like blown that on Amazon crap. You know, it is what it is. Amazon haul coming soon, by the way. So, well, like, I, I have to be within my limits today. I have to be chill. You know, the holidays are coming. I've got gifts to get. I, I mean, there's a lot coming. So, I'm going to get dog food because I have to. Like, you know, my dog needs to eat. And then I want to go to Bath and Body Works. But I'm going to get one candle. I promise you, I'm just going to get one candle. Just one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get a bunch. I'm just gonna get one candle. Anyways, and then I'm gonna go into TJ Maxx because like this is like the, the shopping center that I'm going to. Literally is such an issue for me because okay, for one, there's Bath and Body Works, there's Dollar Tree, there's an Ulta, there's TJ Maxx, there's a Target. There's a party city. I mean, there's so much stuff there. I'm definitely getting Starbucks. I will definitely get Starbucks. I cannot spend more than 10 minutes in Target. I cannot. Actually, you know what? Let's just nix me going into Target at all. Because if I go into Target, I'm going to spend at least $200. So we're not going to go into Target. We're going to go into Bath and Body Works. I'm going to get one candle. I'm gonna get Starbucks and then I'm gonna go into TJ Maxx just to vlog for you guys. Just for you. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, and then I need to go to Dollar Tree because I need Fabulosa and I need a new scrubber brush. And I might as well just go to Dollar Tree for that. I'm gonna give myself a $10 budget in Dollar Tree. A $10 budget. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get ready to go. Oh, before I before I go, before we we head out to the shops, check out what come in came in the mail today. My new mixer. So I got this Hamilton Beach mixer. I'll link it in the description down below. If you're interested in checking it out more, it's really nice. It's got like the snap-on storage or whatever, so you can like put the beaters. In this like plastic thing and it just like all snaps together uh, I was going to just bite the bullet and get my standstill mixer my KitchenAid mixer but Vaughn told me not to get it and I don't know if he's being cheap or if he's getting it for me for Christmas I don't know if he didn't give me any other information he was like don't get that right now so I don't know I don't know if he's being cheap or you know if I'm getting it for Christmas so we'll see so I just went ahead and got it's like I think when I bought it, it was like 17 bucks. I got I think it was a Black Friday deal, but I, I don't think it's gonna go up I think the regular price is like $24. So pretty cheap it had good reviews. So Got a new mixer Okay guys, I just left Bath and Body Works. They're doing a sale a Cyber Monday sale and I didn't realize that 
and there's just so many people in there I got a lot of anxiety <laughs> and uh, I just got like really nervous and like people touching all the candles and stuff like that it just kind of freaked me out so I think I'm just gonna go online and get some Bath and Body Works candles today because it's online too so I'm just gonna save myself the anxiety and I'm gonna go ahead and go to Target it was like a really small store and there were so many people and I was gonna be waiting in line forever to buy stuff that I could get online. So I'm just gonna get some Bath & Body Works candles online. So it's Cyber Monday. Okay. <laughs> I'm at Target. I don't know if I'm gonna get copywritten because of the song, so I'm gonna make it brief. I am in the home goods area because I need a scrubber brush for my sink. Okay, so I went a little buck wild in Target. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. I spent like, I spent, I spent only spent $23. I'll show you guys what I got. Um, but I got two compliments on my mask. That's really cool. And, um, and then I got this drink. It's a toasted white mocha. Never had it before. And I'm going to give it a shot. Usually I don't do whipped cream on my coffee drinks. But she said there are sprinkles. So I was like, okay, well, if I get, if. You know, I want the sprinkles, so if I want the sprinkles, I have to have the whipped cream. So, here we go. We're going to give it a try. That is so good. Mmm. That's amazing. I love it. I'm sitting outside on a bench. There's, like, nobody around me, so I'm just talking to myself, it looks like. Oh, it's so good. They had holiday music on, so I didn't want to get copywritten. But I'm going to go ahead and go into TJ Maxx just to like, show you guys around, just so you guys can see stuff. And then I'm going to head to Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to head to PetSmart. And then I need to get my butt home. But also, ladies, the trick is always have a card. Your own card. So they can't track your spending. It's important. This game, Von knows I have another account. It's not like a secret or anything. Um, <laughs> but we're using that today so he doesn't see the credit card statement. <laughs> okay. I am walking to Dollar Tree right now. forget that that TJ Maxx is a home goods too and that's like my kryptonite so I had to hightail it out of there I saw way too much that I liked way too much so we're going to Dollar Tree because I'm not trying to spend an arm and a leg I want a stand-up mixer and if I go too crazy today I might end up getting it oh yeah also there's an Old Navy there's an Ulta there's uh a Burlington and a Michaels. It's like basically girl heaven over here. And I'm on a budget. It's honestly messed up. Not gonna lie. But I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree. I gotta get Fabulosa a scrubber brush and we'll see what else I can, you know, spend money on in Dollar Tree. Everything's a dollar, so <laughs> that's gonna be something else and then we got to get into pet smart then i head home because honestly it's cold and windy and i have cooking videos to edit and a cooking video to do All right guys, here's the Polar Bear's food. Salmon and brown rice formula. This is a 26 pound bag. <sighs> now I just gotta carry it. <laughs> uh, I'm home now. Got my tree in the background. Abel's sleeping. He just had some of his new doggy food. So exciting. Um, so it's gonna focus, okay, there we go. Okay, so Bath and Body Works was a bust. I really, honestly, I wasn't like super, like I wasn't going crazy for any of the scents. Had anxiety, 
got a little nervous being in there and wasn't like over what like I, I, I don't know I, I think I'm gonna still order some candles tonight from them because it was 40% off but I don't know and then I hit up Target had a fruitful experience at Target I'm gonna show you guys in a second uh, and then I also went to TJ Maxx decided that it was doing too much a lot of people in there and it was just a lot going on and also copyright music so I couldn't really film anywhere it's kind of difficult the only place I could really film was Dollar Tree but I just wanted to get in and get out because honestly at that point I was kind of over it <laughs> um but TJ like at TJ Maxx and because it's like connected to home goods I just knew that it was going to be danger for me to be in there so I was like okay let's just leave before things catch my eye and I end up spending too much money so I left Went to Dollar Tree, got what I needed at Dollar Tree, plus extra stuff. I, I never got a scrubber brush. Never got a scrubber brush for the dishes. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Got Abel's dog food. Oh, also I got my Starbucks. Shout outs to the wonderful lady, the wonderful girl, woman, queen, who suggested me get the um, toasted white mocha iced latte with the sprinkles and the whipped cream is actually really really good so shout out to her let me show you what i got my camera died literally as i was getting ready to show you guys what i got and so i had to charge it for a little bit so i went ahead and started editing but this is what i got at target i got these in the dollar section i got these little ornaments i got me an ornament bon an ornament and abel uh, this one is a shark, obviously, they're just like wooden little ornaments, and so I got this one for Vaughn, I got this unicorn for me, and I got a donut for my little chunky polar bear, because he's shaped like a donut. I got this Winter Wonderland Opal House candle, and let me tell you, it smells so good, plus it matches like my christmas vibe already so it's perfect it's got like a pretty glittery like packaging and i really love the smell honestly i like it more than any of the bath and body works candles that i saw and this was only ten dollars and let me let let me just like break this down for you the opal house candles they burn for up to 50 hours uh, I had that pumpkin pancakes one that I ordered back in October and it lasted so long so so long actually I ordered it like at the end of September and I had it all through October so I went ahead and just got the winter wonderland I think this is gonna be really great honestly opal house candles worth the money they're only 10 bucks burn up to 50 hours like that's amazing i just got some boring washcloths they were four bucks we need more washcloths i always get gray um just because i'm not really interested in white uh washcloths because they get all dirty and nasty and i never want to use them more than once so i always get like gray or different color i found this little tinsel tree in the dollar section it was five dollars it's a little wonky, <laughs> but for $5, what do you expect? I'm going to put it on our dining room table. I think it'll be really cute. And then at Dollar Tree, of course, I don't know why I bought, <laughs> but I bought some nail polishes. It's a purple color. This is like an opaly, um, iridescent white. I got this blue. I already started painting my nails, by the way, so it's such a cute color and then just plain nude and a top coat and then the fabulosa which is something that i actually need <laughs> the only thing in this uh little haul that i actually needed um so i got that and yeah that's what i spend my money on it's honestly not exciting it's not even like a real like treat yourself because i already bought a lot of stuff on amazon um this hoodie including the zip up hoodie you know i got like the pullover hoodie i wanted the i wanted a zip up so i got this um on amazon but i do have an amazon haul coming very very soon um 
but yeah, uh, it was just like, it was just fun to get out for the day and just kind of look around and window shop and look at different things because I already blew my budget. So next month, I'm definitely going to be going crazy. I still have Christmas gifts to get. It's a lot. And go, like, I just wanted to kind of like talk with you guys after <laughs> showing you. Um, I kind of, I'm honestly, like, I'm excited about Christmas, but I'm also kind of just like... It feels off to me this year and also if you hear Vaughn he's like he's streaming right now so that's why you hear him I don't know if I mentioned that um it's just it doesn't feel like a, it's it doesn't feel like Christmas and it doesn't feel like it's like that exciting of a time like honestly I think everybody is just super anxious that this pandemic has like taken a lot out of us and it's it's a big thing it's a big deal and a lot of people are going without Christmas this year and holidays and you know we're not gonna have a big family gathering because of COVID and everything so I'm, I'm I, I decided to scale back my Christmas I'm just gonna have the tree up I'm gonna put some tinsel on my lights and put the stockings up and then have this little tree but I'm not going any more crazy or than that I just feel like it's just not, I, I'm just not into it this year. Even though like I'm excited to like shop for people and get people gifts and I don't know, I'm just not into it. I wasn't even that tempted looking at all the Christmas stuff like I thought I would be. I thought I was gonna be so tempted to get all this stuff but I really have just like, I think I'm just kind of burnt out and I'm ready for 2021 to be here and let's just leave 2020 in the dust forget she ever happened and you know move forward so I think that's kind of where I'm at right now I don't know if, if you guys are feeling the same way if you're feeling like weird like holiday blues let me know I I don't know now I just got really depressed <laughs> oh geez Louise but anyway I think um I think me and Vaughn are gonna order some b-dubs we have hardly hardly uh had takeout um like literally we got canes the other day because we weren't gonna we didn't have like a full meal like I couldn't put together a meal with what we had in our kitchen um, and the groceries were coming the next day so we got canes that day and uh, that was the first time in over a month we had eaten takeout and oh my god look at him he's snoring so loud and so I decided that let's get some wings or something I don't feel like cooking today because I just did all those errands and was just like walking around and doing a bunch of stuff and annoying people and you know I let's just order some beat ups so he uh vomited wings and I think I'm gonna get like a salad or something I'm honestly not even that hungry I'm a chatterbox because I just had this uh Starbucks it was really really good by the way I already said that you know I'm just chattering also before I go I am almost done with my I'll be gone in the dark I have less than 100 pages left I'm on part three and honestly I wasn't looking forward to part three because it's after the author passed away like this this isn't her writing this it's um, her her like investigator her like friend and then this like other crime writer so it's not gonna be the same but I'm looking forward to finishing the book I need to go straight back into fiction reading because I've been having crazy nightmares lately after reading this honestly I highly highly suggest you read this book it's called I'll be gone in the dark I can link it in the description down below for you guys I'm going to do an Amazon haul uh, once my package that I'm waiting on gets here should be Wednesday so I think Wednesday I'm going to sit down and film um, my little Amazon haul for you guys but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this like random little vlog that isn't really anything it's just like me talking your heads off like the whole time I feel like whatever <laughs> oh duh be sure to uh follow my twitter at mnman and my instagram at midwest mansfield i'm honestly losing my edge i'm tired i want to finish this dang book and light my candle and put a top coat on these nails i'm aware let me just i'm aware that i got dollar store nail polish and i know it's like not great but i love dollar store nail polish because you can just like you can switch the nails as many times as you want because you it's not like you've spent a lot of money on the nail polish and also it chips off in about a day or two and then you're ready to put on a different color works for me i need to shut up <laughs> <laughs>